Hello, hello. We're back. Greetings. Hello. We return. <laughs> We're good. We have not dropped any frames within 30 seconds. That's good. It's very good, in fact. Uh, I can now say it's technically here before stream began. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we're now... Let's see, we're going to a minute without any drop frames. Let's see what we hit. Let's see what we hit, see what we hit. Uh, Alright, we're over a minute, no drop frames. I think we're good. Young Mastery Pass is a good value. Uh, honestly, I mean, yeah, I mean, you get, you get pretty decent stuff. You get some gold, you get packs, you get cards, you get gems. I think it's worth it for the pets, to be honest. Uh, you also get the, the other dragon pet. I mean, it's one of those things where I think if you play the game a lot, it's worth it. If you don't play it a lot, it's probably not worth it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if I'm playing a game a lot, I'm like, you know what? I'll get their Mastery Pass or Battle Pass or whatever they got, right? But if I'm not playing it a lot, I'm like, whatever. <laughs> How's the new set? I think it's great. I only draft with it, but it's pretty solid for drafting. Are we doing Stream Raiders tonight? Uh, we're going to skip it tonight just because we have sponsored by Guild Wars 2, and I don't know if that's going to interfere with anything. But tomorrow we will be doing uh, Stream Raiders. Mm -hmm. uh, drafting costs money. It is not free. You can draft with gold, which you earn for free, but you need 10,000 gold. And then you can do a premier draft, which is where you draft against other people. And then you play against other people. Or, there's quick draft, which is where you draft against computers, but then you play against people. So you play against people that also drafted against computers. But it costs half the price, so honestly, if you're getting into drafting and you don't really know about the sets or anything, I'd say go quick draft, because it costs less and there's no timer, so when you're picking cards, there's no timer. When you do draft against players, there's a timer, so you don't have a lot of time. When you draft against AI, there's no timer, so you can literally just sit there and analyze every card and be like, I'm going to take this one. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Yeah, there's Quick Draft. Um, Premier Draft's usually what people take because you draft against other humans and it's, you know, higher risk, higher reward, <laughs> higher price. Um, I did Quick Drafts for, like, the first two years of playing this game, honestly. And then I was like, you know what, I'm going to do Premier Draft because normally they release the Premier Draft new sets a couple weeks before the Quick Draft. Probably because they know you'll spend more money to play the new draft. <laughs> and now I'm hooked on the higher price stuff. But And drafting against other humans, I think, is more fun. But honestly, quick draft's still, like, great. I still love quick drafts. Nothing, uh, nothing against them. So, yeah. And that's what we'll be doing uh, today is the premier draft. So it should be good. Um, as you can see, you win 50 for one, zero, uh, 100 for one, 250 for two, 1,000 for three. So when you hit three, it like, it ramps up. 1,400 for four, 1,600 for five, 1,800 for six, and then 2,200 for seven. Um, quick draft. Let me check the quick draft. Quick draft is 50, 100, 200. 300, 450, 650, 850, 
nine fifty. So to make your money back in quick draft, you have to get to six wins, pretty much. Uh, so it's a little harder to make your gems back, but you spend less. So I mean, you're not losing as much, <laughs> and you still get to keep all the cards you get. So that's another big thing, and you still get packs and stuff on top of it. So honestly, it's you know, they're both good. That's what I'm getting at. Also, uh, I keep going back. <laughs> if you want, uh, currently, Premier Draft Amonkhet Remastered. You get your first draft in Amonkhet Remastered for free. So you can literally do a free Amonkhet Remastered draft, which I did the other night. And I think I won two games. So I won like 250 and two packs. So it's free. So go do it. <laughs> da -da -da. Uh, is there a new Guild Wars 2 expansion soon? Yes, in February. And we'll be talking about that in a little bit, actually, because we are sponsored by Guild Wars 2 this stream. I'm actually pumped for it. It was a bit ironic, because I just reinstalled Guild Wars 2, like, the other day as well. And I was like, <laughs> I had logged into Guild Wars 2 in, like, seven years. And I was like, dude, I have so much mail. And it was like, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> and I was like, redeem, 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 inventory full. Uh, inv inventory, redeem, inventory, inventory full, redeem. And I said, like, redeem all this shit, but I had no inventory space. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you should add me as a friend. I will add you, Tina. <laughs> um, of course, the big thing is in, in the expansion coming up is fishing. They're adding fishing. That piqued my interest. <laughs> In fact, we might as well, uh, let's just talk about it right now. So, Guild Wars 2, um, the expansion End of Dragons is going to be coming out in February 2022. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of stuff. It's got, uh, let's see, the Canthan Continent. It's got Trait Lines, which, let's see, Virtuoso... Mesmer Virtuoso, it's got Necromancer, Harbinger, Guardian, Willbender. I think I'm a Necromancer uh, when I was, when I'm playing. And I definitely am, because I spent a bunch of points in the Necromancer tree when I, uh, when I logged in. <laughs> and I was like, might as well. It's got a combat mount, Siege Turtle. <laughs> Siege Turtle can bear two riders, one to handle a turtle, another to operate the weapon strapped to its shell. Oh my god. And then out at sea, it's got fishing. Uh, there's also skiffs. Your personal skiff is your home away from home on the waves. Explore, relax, and ferry your whole party. Drop anchor to fish, walk around, and more. Uh, and then fishing. Take your skiff and rod or kick back on shore to reel in ingredients for delicious local cuisine. Your next big catch could be the key to victory in fishing events. Mamma Mia. GWT is great. One of the top two MMOs. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, ancient Magic. Additional features. New Horizons. Strike Missions. Legendary Weapons. Guild Hall. Stake a new guild. Don't sell. Reimagine Cantha. Nostalgia. Mamma Mia. Damn, it's coming out in February. Another great thing about Guild Wars 2 is there's no, uh, there's no subscription. You just buy the thing and you're good to go. You just play. Just hop in, whatever. Um... We also have... Hold on. Hold on. I got this banner here. Bloop! There we go. We got a banner. You also explanation point Guild Wars 2 in the chat. If you want to click to go there. Let me turn the audio down because we're going to watch a trailer here. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> uh... Da -da -da -da. All right, so this is the new Guild Wars 2 End of Dragons trailer. Let's go ahead and watch it, see what it's all about. Uh, it's coming out in February. Should be pretty good. Here we go. Look, 
look around us. Your children would be trapped in the past, if not for me. Their worlds are carved from the jade that I gave purpose. I promised them a future. A century of progress cannot end this way. I'll find a way to save us all. Oh, that's the character I play. I play the little guy. <laughs> so yeah, it's coming out in February of 2022. Look around us. Hold on, we just can keep looping it. Uh, it's coming out February 2022, and honestly, the biggest thing about it is it has fishing in it. Does nothing else matters. It has fishing. It is going to be amazing. Any game that adds fishing is a game that I'm ready to play. Uh, it adds skiffs. You can take your skiff away from home on the waves, explore, relax, and ferry your whole party, drop anchor to fish, walk around, and more. I'm sold, dude. I'm sold. Sign me up. <laughs> So yeah, that is, that's going to be great. I love it. All aboard, if you want to check it out, explanation, blah, 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 Guild Wars 2 in the chat. You can already see people doing that. It's also another thing. It's also below the stream, so you can check it out, Guild Wars 2. Uh, yeehaw. Bloop. 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 Um, dude, I remember the, when I think of uh, Guild Wars 2, I think of two things. I think of playing with Jesse and doing the Halloween clock tower thing. <laughs> and I did it, and he couldn't do it, and I just kept doing it over and over, and he was like, This clock tower is driving me insane! Uh, and then I remember uh, doing the cooking. And I remember I loved the cl the the cooking because I was just like, um, I loved how I just kind of figured it out on my own. I was like, what if I take apples and I take this and I take that? And I'm like, I make apple pie. What if I take apples and I take water and I take this? I make apple juice. Okay, what if I take this? And just the the concept of discovering stuff with cooking was just really fun to me. And I'm sure now, if you want, you can look up a guide and be like, this creates this, this creates this, this creates this. But like back then when I was doing it, I was like, dude, I love this. It was so fun. Um, as somebody who loves cooking and loves just like discovery and games and stuff like that. So I had a, I had a great time with it. <laughs> um, live win with the 51 months. Drafts and dragons or dungeons and decks. Why not both? What They were the 51 months. Live one. Oh, also, can't you, like, PvP at level 1? Isn't that a thing? I think that's, uh... At least that's what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard you can PvP at level 1. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Yeah, the jumping puzzle. <laughs> Uh, what's max level in that game right now? Because I know when I logged in, I was level 80. Because I think that's where I got to when I finished leveling in the initial game. When did that game come out? Wasn't it like eight years ago? <laughs> it was a while ago, now that I think about it. Eighty, but you get mastery points after. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not bad. So I'm already max level. Nice. <laughs> you don't have to PvP. I have four level 80s and never touch PvP. Nice. Yeah, I'd probably do some PvP, but... Wasn't it out during WoW Cataclysm? I think it came out during Pandaria. Or maybe it was Cataclysm. It was like between Cataclysm and Pandaria, I think. Nine years ago this month? Oh my god. <laughs> Mastery points let you do stuff like jump on shrooms. Nice. Guild Wars 2 is my first MMO, I think. Dude, nice. I remember I had a friend in high school that played the first Guild Wars. Same level 80, it never raises. After you reach 80, you get access to masteries, which are side upgrades, letting you handle mounts better. Bonus for fractal raids, quality of life features. I actually like that a lot. That's cool. Uh, Alright, start up the old draft. You 
still play Guild Wars 1. Oh my god. All right, all right. What do we got? Tiamat! Last time I took Tiamat, I literally never drew him. And I got all the colors, I was ready to go, and then I just never drew him. But I kind of... What if I do it? <laughs> What if I did it though? <laughs> what if I picked him? I'm gonna do it. Alright. So I think the way you play around it is you go treasure tokens. So I think Thanks. I go red black primarily. So we take the dragon spire. What do we got here? Battlecry Goblin, check for traps. I like check for traps, honestly. I mean, this is good because it creates a treasure token, though. That's probably more in line for what I need. <laughs> and it's removal, so I can't go wrong. Um... Yeah. I think... This might not be bad to have. Well, it costs two mana to do that, though. Yeah. Rapier's not bad, either. It's got flesh. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. Uh, I'll probably take this to create treasure tokens. Okay. Gotta get the Tiamat out. That's what this deck's all about. There's removal. There's more removal. Fireball. Probably just take fireball. That was kind of a shitty pack, yeah. <laughs> Washing the chocolate off your peanut M&Ms. <laughs> oh, by the way. Drinking a beer? Guess what kind of beer it is. I had to show the stream. It is... <laughs> Lizard King. Lizard King beer. <laughs> it's made by Pipeworks Brewing Company, which is a Chicago company. <laughs> it's pretty solid. I like it. Oh my gosh. Try it. I'm gonna take the genie. Uh, it's an IPA, but it's a mosaic hopped IPA. It's a bit of a lighter IPA, honestly. So if you don't like hard IPAs, it's definitely on the lighter side. Gamer Demon King, 28 months over the 28 months. Gamer Demon King. Save the 28 months. Ooh. Draw two cards, create treasure. That's nice right now. I forgot to pick other. Oh, yeah, I need other dragons. You're right. <laughs> Need the audio higher. Hold my magic music. Um, I mean, this is good to create another treasure token, but like, I like Hobgoblin Captain just as a card, so I think I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, we got Thieves Tools. Ooh, and that creates a treasure token. Nice. That could actually be really good on um, Hobgoblin Captain. Especially early on. Who are we drafting against? Raven Eye, Brother Nature, and Mill. Wait, what do we got? Uh, another guy. Whoops. Proppin. Amel, Car, Cam. Ocelid, Arcata. Crendor, Crescent Troll. Oh my god, let's go. Take 10 years. I love a lot of the magic card art. Uh, trash. Dude, let's go. Alright. Shocking grass, for sure. Don't want it. Go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Finally, okay. We've got Green Dragon. That's something. That's a dragon. Hmm. <laughs> Although Sphere of Annihilation is kind of fun to play. Uh, just to wipe the board, you know? Could be good. But I do need dragons. <laughs> Yeah, I need dragons. I'm gonna take it. <gasps> Ooh, black dragon. Nice. Now we're talking. Just give me that red dragon. Dragon's fire. Okay. More dragon fire. We got barbarian class. Burning hands. Ooh, burning hands. Yo, this, is, uh, this isn't too bad. We've got some removal. We got some dragons. We got some treasure creation. Boom. Evolving wilds. Ooh, that's actually really nice for what we're doing here. Because if I'm if I'm like short a treasure or something, I just play that and get any land I need or something. Uh. Sacrifice, treasure vault, create X treasure tokens. Ooh. That could also be nice. Maybe I will do that. Actually, yeah, let's take that. I'll take a Valor Singer. That's just a good card. Did they run out of dragon names? I mean, it's based on D&D, &D, so it's a lot of, like, you know, D&D &D names. Hmm. Eh. I guess I'll take Spike Trap. Probably not going to use it. I'm going to... Uh, maybe I'll get more of these. Because you keep cycling. Creating treasures. It's not bad. Oh, oh Horde Robber. It's good to have. Uh, I'll take the giant. Hex Blade is actually pretty solid here. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, what do we got? I mean, unexpected windfall is good, but I don't want to take it right off the bat. <laughs> Skeletons, vampires, zombies get 1-1. One, one. I mean, Death Priest is good. Skull Ports. Skull Ports actually not bad either. Grim Bounties are straight up removal. I need more creatures though, I think. I kind of like Skull Port here. The Merchant, because you're going to get a treasure token, you get a 1-4 that can block stuff, and then you can draw cards on top of it. So I think it fits the deck the best. Yeah, I like the Merchant. Um... Don't see any dragons here. There is another horde robber, which is good. I like Valor Singer here, though. I think having another Valor Singer is just strong. It's just like you get plus one attack. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks. Another dragon's fire. I mean, why not? <laughs> Uh, got oh hoarding ogre. Let's go. Then lightfoot rogue, not bad. You play a card you own from outside the game this turn. I don't need that. Uh, yo, this card's. How is this still here? I guess nobody's playing red. You can either buff everything you got, or you create goblins. Like, that's pretty good. Zubenheimer with the 33 months. Save the 33 months. Zubenheimer. Save the 33 months. Zubenheimer. And Robocrab with the 56 months. Save the 56 months. Robocrab. Swag. <laughs> uh oh, there's my barbarian finally. I haven't done any Keldheim quick draft, no, but I did a lot of Keldheim draft back when it was uh it was just a thing. That was there. Take another axe, please. Nice. I love Kaldheim. Kaldheim is one of my favorite drafts, honestly. Sir Hippo with the 46 months, dropping bombs or getting bombs dropped on. <laughs> Depends on the luck of the draw. They have the four to six months. Uh, ooh, might just take the skeleton. Yeah. Dungeons can get you treasure. That's true. Nothing good. Uh, some more card draw if I want. I don't think I'll need it, but I already got two. Another skeleton. Hey, there we go. More thieves tools if I want. And a bar the gate. All right, so we're already at forty-six out of forty. And I think, uh, we're just straight up use Swamp and Mountain and a Treasure Vault, so that's 14, 15, 16. 
So I'm going to create a bunch of treasures. Probably need one thieves tool. You need green mana to summon the green dragon? Well, I just need treasures to summon the green dragon. Shambling guest. Rapier, deadly... One forest revolving wild. Oh, that's a good point, too. Yeah, I could throw one green in there, I guess. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, which green lane do I want? This one's neat. Okay. thing is, I have so many treasure cards that it's probably going to be fine, I think. I don't even know if they need fireball in this. Well, it could be good. Burning Hay and Steve's Tools. I have so many low-cost cards. Lightfoot Rogue. Lord Robber. Two X blade. Bam. Do, 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 do. Uh, shambling guest. Honestly, actually, you know what? I don't think I need it. I think I'll be fine. I'm gonna have so many treasures; it's gonna be crazy. And I already got a lot of removal, so I don't think I'm gonna need the fireball. We'll see. Maybe only one hex blade. Maybe only one shambling guest. I don't think I need the rapier either. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Yeah, treasure can literally summon any color. You can just be like, I'm casting treasure and you're good. Alright, so we got two red. Which isn't I've got TM in my hand already. Okay, great. And nothing that generates treasure. Alright, great. But I can play these two already, so it's not terrible. Uh, I did know the Amonkhet draft is free. I did it, uh, literally the other night. Potion. Nice, we got the swamp. Yeah, that set's great. I like this set a lot. Silver Moon Ranger. That's annoying. Uh. Oh! Is it? Okay, we're good. Kill. Six damage to green. Let's go. Mmm. He doesn't have cards. I know he's gonna play that. All right, drop this. He's gaining life. Thanks, Sir Sunzer with the three months. They were the three months, Sir Sunzer. One, two, three. Swipe. They were the three months. Let's go ahead and kill this. Reveal a dragon. Nah. Gonna go ahead and drop this. 
Favorite color combo to draft so far? It's probably black-red. But I actually like a lot of the green cards, too. But I think black-red's still my favorite. Uh... Drop this. Dungeon. Let's scry one. Uh, red land. I have six. Uh, honestly, I think I have enough land right now. I just need more treasure cards and stuff. Uh, okay. Um. Go ahead and get a swamp land. Alright, alright. Wait, they didn't attack? That's interesting. If I. If I, uh, sacrifice this, I guess I get treasures, and then I could play the green dragon if I wanted. But maybe I'll wait until I got more land. Let's drop the rogue. Uh, I still think there's some use in one green land. I think you're right, actually. If I could have got that green land, I could have made treasure and did the thing, yeah. I think you're right. I could just kill it, but... Kill two, and eh, I'll let it hit. Okay. So we got a horde robber, that's actually good. So I take that goblin out. So then I can attack with the horde robber next turn. Maybe I'll roll a twenty. That'd be neat. <laughs> Never mind. So I just need treasure. That's all I care about. Just getting treasure. Thing. Ah, classic. All right. <laughs> All 
Alright, we got the Dragon's Fire. I mean, that's good. Oh, if I reveal... See a mat, I can kill the four or five. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, that's good. <laughs> uh. All right. All right, that's not good. Actually, not quite. But probably. Tiamat and the Green Dragon's a mistake there, I said it. You know, I definitely think it is, but I also don't really mind. <laughs> uh, I like doing it just for the memes, to be honest. But I guess, you know, some people don't like having meme fun, all right? Some people like uh, Zinc Man are uh, injecting Mountain Dew Code Red. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm, I think adding in the green lion is a good play. I'm going to do that. We're going to do the one green lion. All right. Let's do it. We'll do 41. It actually works... Tiamat actually works pretty well as a removal with the dragon fire. Because I have three dragon fires. So that's like an automatic seven removal. Three times if he's in my hand. Okay. I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> Here we go. Of course the green dragon's here already, alright? <laughs> See you later, comrade. Follow guide the monsters. Jesus Christ, just non-stop swamps. Alright, let's kill this guy. Whoop. Cool. I can almost play my Black Dragon already, so that's kind of fun. Am I streaming Diablo 2 uh, or Beta tomorrow? I'm probably not going to stream any Blizzard stuff. Just because I don't really want to give Blizzard more publicity right now. <laughs> uh, I might play it, like, off-stream. But, I mean, you know. You know. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's drop that. See you later, comrade. Have a good night. 
Uh, I think I said that already, but <laughs> have a good night again. Basil, dude, this guy's just dropping the board right now, I guess. Uh. Yeah, I can go ahead and kill the Basilisk, or I can kill... I kind of want to kill this guy. Because he's going to keep doing his dumb shit with it. <laughs> Alright. Pizza shit. <laughs> I'll kill it. Dungeon time. All right, scry one. Goblins. I guess I can create two one ones. They can take out the basilisk if it attacks. I guess. I'd rather try to get treasure stuff. I think. Then we'll create a treasure token. We get more life. <laughs> Five, six, seven. So I guess we do three. So it's three and three. So we pay six. All right, now I can play my green dragon. that <laughs> okay and it's over okay. <laughs> all right <laughs> so that time we got a little too much land so I think now wait what do I got 12 12 2 1 Uh, I might take one swamp out. No, I might take one mountain out. Swamp I need for black dragon, but red I just need for some one cost stuff really, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, start caller Sari with the 25 months, with 25 months. What the fuck? 70 metal load. What the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck. Stay with 25 months. All right, here we go. Owen oh 2, but we got a dream. Yo, this is probably the best starting hand I've had. They got the trickster. Oh wait, why don't I play Evolving Wilds? That's dumb. <laughs> I should have played the Evolving Wilds, got the red, and then played this one, whatever. Spikes are the Well now I might as well do this. an ear looking ASMR stream some people wish this is just the depression stream right now 
drinking beer, eating watermelon, and losing every game in a magic draft. <laughs> It wasn't even a green draft. It was just a meme draft. Like, I'm just trying to meme it into existence. I'm trying to have a good time. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead. Bring in the red. I mean, I can kill that dungeon here if I get a dragon. Oh. Alright. Thieves tools. Yo, this is pretty good right now, actually. We get the treasure. Um, maybe I even treasure this onto the rogue so he can just go to town and keep whacking away. Although, that seems kind of dumb. <laughs> I could also... Sacrifice the treasure, create a treasure, draw two cards. That seems like the better play. <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> I see what's going on here. <laughs> Alright. I can do this. Draw a card, lose a life. I'll do that. Oh, and I got the green dragon. I guess I'll attack. He's got the best side. So they're about to just throw a bunch of shit onto the dungeon here. Hey, here's a question. So it says when Green Dragon enters the battlefield until the end of the turn, whenever a creature and opponent controls, don't damage and destroy it. Does that mean if I attack and he blocks and he's taking damage, then I play the Green Dragon, then it dies at the end of the turn? Or is it only when you play it beforehand? No? Okay. Okay, you gotta play it first. That's what I thought, but I was just kind of clarifying. Oh, let's kill this thing. <laughs> well, I could kill the dungeon here. No, I'd rather kill the flying. Um. Uh, I want to throw that onto him. It's got death touch. I don't think I do. I almost want to just sacrifice the thieves tools at this point. Just create a treasure token. Draw cards. All right. Cool. Yeah, green, green, green dragon's definitely the worst dragon. I think, like, black dragon removes stuff. Blue dragon, I guess, is second worst. <laughs> Mythor with the 87 months gorilla greetings. Thank you, Mythor, for the 87 months.
They were the 87 months. <laughs> Mama Mia. Um. What do I do here? Probably create a treasure token. And then... I can kill the goblin. I can also play the hobgoblin. Probably just play the hobgoblin, honestly. Just flood the board with shit. Yeah, I like that. Probably attack with rogue. Oh no, he's gonna... I don't know why I did that. I could kill it. But then, three, four, five, six, I could... Ah, eh, just kill it. I don't want my guy to die. I kill it beforehand, but whatever. I goofed it. I done goofed it. Fine. Dragon turtle. Uh oh. That's actually pretty annoying. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. If he attacks with the Dungeoneer, and I just play this, I win, right? Three, five, no, three, four, four, and then he gets plus one probably anyway. Well. More of that dies. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. I win the game if I roll a ten up. Is that right? I win the game if I roll a ten up. Four, four, plus one. Buckle up, folks. We're gambling. If there's one thing I love. Hold on, let's attack first. I win! Wahoo! Wahoo! Wait, what? No! <laughs> How did I math that wrong? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> How did I do the math wrong? I think, oh, I know what it is. I forgot he gained the one health. I still had him at nine health in my brain. What a pizza shit. All right. <laughs> so here's the thing. Four, five, six, seven. He can't win. Wait, what? <gasps> Wahoo! We did it! We won a game with this shitty deck. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Woo! Da, 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 da.
We may never lose again. We may never lose again. The only way you would lose is by not using your free Twitch Prime that's sitting around. That's right. You should be using your free Twitch Prime. <laughs> Here we go. One and two. Two black glands, green. Actually, this isn't bad. Ooh. I'm going to take it. I got to at least play Tiamat one game, dude. He just Did he just mulligan? Six, seven. Oh, he mulligan down to five, dude. A turtle made it to the water. Saber Ox, just subscribe. Thank you, Saber Ox. That's not even a Twitch Prime. Swipe. Thank you, Saber Ox. Here we go. Good, good. All right. Let's kill that. Pay a treasure token. Gain a treasure token. <laughs> Love to see it. And let's go ahead. Sacrifice a treasure token, create a treasure token, draw cards. Very nice. We got Tiamat Dragon's Fire, so that's a seven damage removal. Rave Leader. With the 14 months, think of the 14 months Rave Leader. Spike. They were the 14 months Rave Leader. Let's drop this. All right. Um. It's a pack. Fantastic. Death Priest. Oh shit, you're right. I'm only one treasure away from Tiamat. Oh, and I just play the Barbarian. And then, uh... Do that. It's gonna happen, dude. It's gonna happen. The dragon meme is happening. Shezra. Okay. Land. All right. Feign death. They got nothing, dude. It's over. Oh, oh. oh no. Dr skeleton tokens. What will I ever do? Pay it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! We win! Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> oh my god.
That was worth it. The draft, that's practically seven wins right there. It doesn't even matter what else happens. That's seven wins. <laughs> it actually worked. All right, all right. Black Hex Blade. Uh, that's not bad. It's kind of bad because I can't play these yet, but just believe in the heart of the cards. Yeah, all right. I can treasure token. Good. Arcane investigate. Let's horde robber here. Okay. This is actually perfect. I put thieves tools on the horde robber and go to treasure town. In fact, I might just kill this right here at the treasure. Oh yeah, treasure town, population, me. <laughs> I guess the ogre's not bad because I can keep creating treasure tokens as well. But this will allow me to just draw cards. So I'm gonna do that. All right, cool. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I can't believe I haven't gotten any red land currently. All right. Shit, yeah, I could have sacrificed the tap dude. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I can sack it with merchant merchant. Uh Play the ogre. And then we equip the ogre with the treasure. Or the uh, thieves tools. I can't believe I haven't gotten any red land. Oh, Jesus. Alright. 
Finally! Thank God. Alright, uh... Go ahead and well, eh. I'm gonna kill the arcane investigator. I think. See you later, Harper Hex. Cool. One treasure token. My lucky day. Let's drop the hobgoblin. One more treasure, I can play the black dragon and kill the wind seer. All right, guilt thief can't be blocked. I forgot that's a thing it can do. <laughs> I probably should have killed it over the other thing. All right, it's gonna hurt. I almost feel like it's worth sacrificing the hex blade right now. Four. Actually, no, because then he can just all up. But I'm going to lose anyway. All right, let's see what we get. <gasps> Dragon's fire! All right, all right. All right, okay, all right. <laughs> so now, this buys me some time. Do I kill the wind seer or do I kill the guild thief? Probably the guild thief. Because if I can play the Black Dragon next turn, then... Uh... Oh wait, here we go. Yeah, I can attack with the Ogre first. <laughs> Kidding me. <laughs> Another one. Now I play the black dragon. Auto pay. I think we kill the guild thief, honestly. So the Wind Seer, I can kill a Dragon Fire, and I can block it with the Black Dragon. Okay. Yeah. Hoarding Ogre is the main man right now, just giving me more and more treasure tokens. He's going to have to use another card to kill it. Two burning hands. All right. Well. I'm down to one. But now I kill the Wind Seer with Dragon Fire. And I drop Valor Singer. Attack with those two. God, can I roll? <laughs> can I roll, please? I guess it still allows me to play this, so it's like, whatever. <laughs> now he's down to six. Hey, it all comes down to this. Are 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> Is that a top deck? I swear to God. <laughs> I, did he just top deck that shit? I don't still win. His thing gets whatever, and then I die. Yep. I don't know if he was saving that genie for that moment, or if he just top decked it, top top decked it, top decked it, and was like, "Oh, here we go! Ho ho ho! Look, I top decked my thing! Ho 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 ho!" You know what? It's fine. I played Tiamat, I won a game. That's practically like seven wins. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. That's pretty solid, right? The deck of many things. Roll a d20 and subtract the number of cards in your hand. If the result is zero or less, discard a card. Turn a card at random from your graveyard to your hand. Draw two cards, or put a creature card from any graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. When that creature dies, its owner loses the game. What? <laughs> Yo, this shit's crazy. So you could either, like, take one of their honker cards and try to win the game, or you could give... Wait. So if you put a creature card from your opponent's graveyard, then they lose the game? Or do you, but you, if you take a creature from their graveyard, then you own it, and then you lose the game. Right? <laughs> no, they still own it. Oh. You control, not own. Oh! So you could, like, take a really shitty-ass card and then just, like, sacrifice it or something and win the game. Damn, that's... That's a... I would meme that deck. <laughs> I would meme that. That sounds fun. Acerac, the Archlich. When here's the battlefield, if you haven't completed Tomb of Annihilation, return... Acerac to its owner's hand and venture into the dungeon. When he enters, when he attacks for each opponent, you create a 2-2 black zombie creature token unless that player sacrifices a creature. What the shit? Alright. And he's a 3-5-5? Five, five? I didn't even see that until the end. <laughs> Alright. A zombie wizard. <laughs> huh. Zombie wizard. Oh, that shit's crazy. All right, well, back to the old drafting board. But before we do, Guild Wars 2, End of Dragons. We talked about it earlier in the stream. We're talking about it again. End of Dragons is coming out in February. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. They're adding fishing to the game. That's really all that matters. <laughs> uh, I'm pumped for it. Let's watch this trailer. Real quick. Look around us. Your children would be trapped in the past if not for me. Their worlds are carved from the jade that I gave purpose. I promised them a future. A century of progress cannot end this way. I'll find a way to save us all. Mama me. So, uh, Guild Wars 2, End of Dragons, been coming out in February. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. It's got fishing, as I've mentioned before. I mentioned it as fishing, because it has fishing. It also has fishing, uh, and you can even fish in it. <laughs> uh, you get skiffs. Your personal skiff is your home, away from home on the waves. Explore, relax, and ferry your whole party. Drop anchor to fish, walk around, and more? Honestly, that sounds great. Like, you can just chill on a boat and go around. Sign me up. They have a combat mount siege turtle. Siege turtle can bear two riders, one to handle the turtle, another to operate the weapon strapped to its shell. Raise your own walking war machine and take a friend out for a combat adventure. 
dude. That could just be the entire expansion. I'd be like, sold. Uh, and one of the best parts, you don't need a subscription. You literally just buy it and you play it. And you don't have to subscribe every month or anything. Um, I actually reinstalled it the other day. So, I mean, I'm probably going to play it on stream here pretty soon. Because uh, I logged in and I had, like, years of mail backlogged. <laughs> so, should be fun. I'll probably do some stuff to see if I can get ready for the new expansion and everything. And then... Uh, I mean, you can't. You can buy the most recent expansion. And then the new one comes out in February. So we got... Was it? 8, 9, 12, 12. Still got like five months till it comes out. But, uh, you know, that's more than enough time to get into it. So check it out. If you want to check it out, exclamation point Guild Wars 2. Link in the stream or link below the uh, stream as well. A little panel image. You click the panel image. Takes you to thing. Bing, bang, bang. Pow. Zap. Zip, zap. Up. All right. Remember to mention it as fishing. <laughs> That's true. I almost forgot. What the shit is this? I haven't seen this in all the drafts I've done. Icing Death Frost Tyrant, legendary dragon, flying vigilance. When Icing Death Frost Tyrant dies, create Icing Death Frost Tongue. A legendary white equipment artifact token with equipped creature gets 2-0. Whenever equipped creature attacks, tap target creature defending player controls and equip 2. I mean, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> I guess I'll take it. That seems pretty good. <laughs> um, so there's not many good white creatures here, but there is Trellisara Moon Dancer. And she's green-white and can keep stacking up counters. So I kind of like that as a second pick here. Icing death is how I feel when I eat cake with too much frosting. Dude, I hate cake with too much frosting. Like, if you get too much frosting, it's just like... And it just tastes like... And it's kind of like gritty. Especially if it's like... been sitting out. It gets a little gritty. You know? <laughs> Not a fan. Definitely not like Twitch Prime, which is absolutely 100% free. Not available in all countries up from $130 a year. Free. Dude, who's taking forever with this second pack? Holy Field? Miles from Seattle? KK? Who's that? KK Slider in here? Bolt Vander Huge? Alright, so we're going white-green. Uh, there's Dryder. Probably the Prowler or the Bard. I'm gonna take... Is this when you gain life? Yeah, I'm gonna take the Bard to synchronize with it. Uh, Alright, another uh, great pack for what we're doing. <laughs> Uh, this could actually be okay, I guess. Uh, ooh, giant. And spoils? I'm gonna take the giant. Another giant! <laughs> I can't pass up on two giants. Uh, ooh, Oh my god, Basilisk and Planner Ally? And somebody who hasn't even taken a Grim Bounty? Uh, I kind of like Planner Ally here. But I also like Basilisk, because it's just Death Touch and just sits there. But it is flying. Mm, I'm going to take it. Wild Shape's a great spell and draft, specifically if you have a 1-1 one -one counters going around. Actually, it's kind of, it's nice because you can, if somebody's casting a spell, you can just turn it into a turtle with hexproof, right? So you just kind of get out of it. And then if they got flying, you can kind of reach and do whatever and then trample if you want to win the game or something with that. Green Dragon's just chilling here again? There's also, mm, I think I'd rather have <laughs> spoils. 
<laughs> I don't need more two-cost mana things, dude. I'm gonna take the spoil. I need removal. I don't have any removal. In fact, I don't have, like, anything but creatures except for that. Yeah, he needs spoils. That card art's awesome. Kind of reminds me of Monster Hunter a little bit. What do we got here? Druid. Hawk. Take the Druid. Another giant. I don't know if I'm going to play three giants, but... I have the potential to play three giants. Dude, three giants with the, uh... Trellisara? <laughs> I do need some, like, ramp. Get it going a little bit, though. Alright, throw Rhino into the air is never going to happen. We got to drop this sub goal, alright? We're going down... <laughs> Sub goal's dropping down to 11.50. Oh my god, we're only... Nine subs away from throwing the Rhino into the air. Eight subs? Whoa! Uh... Sure, I'll do that. I agree, drafting is the most fun format. I love drafts. Don't need that. I love drafts because it's different every time and people can't do net decks. They have to, like, at least use their own brain to kind of piece together stuff. I think it's just more fun. Vault Dweller, 42 months. Thank you for the 42 months. Vault Dweller. Swag. Thank you for the 42 months. Yeah, you get a lot of weird card interactions with draft. That's true, too. Yeah, and you get a lot of variety. It's just great. Cool. That's a good last round pick. Uh, so... I kind of like... I don't need more giants, dude. I, I like the Lurking Roper. He's not bad. And I've got a lot of life... gain. I'll tell you again. Whoa! We got the Frog Hemoth! Buckle up, buckle in! Bop, bop! Pew, 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 pew! All right. Boo. Magic sponsored by Guild Ward 2. Well, they said I could play any game I wanted. So I just played Magic. <laughs> uh Wait, I don't have anything I equip, right? <gasps> Oh, Sylvan Shepherd's good here. Spoils is good too, but like the Shepherd's nice because it's a low cost card and it gives me life and it synchronizes a lot of my shit. So I'll do that. Uh, Moonbless Cleric and Containment. Probably Containment. It's just removal. Yeah, did you know that Guild Wars 2 gets fishing? You might have not known that. I may have not said it enough. <laughs> what the shit? We were just 8 subs away, now we're 15 subs away. <laughs> we'll never throw Rhino into the air. Double target creature's power and toughness till end of turn. The spell deals 5 damage to creatures flying. I think I take the... Oh, there's another containment! I can take Basilisk or containment. I like Basilisk, because it's just... But Containment's just straight up removal. I can't pass up removal. Yeah, Containment, I gotta do it. They can play literally anything, you're just like, Containment! Um... It's getting fishing in the next expansion. Null Hunter's not bad. I don't have, like, any two-cost drops. Dungeoneer's not bad, either. I'm gonna play Null Hunter. I think it... Synchronizes with a lot of shit I got. Uh, another containment. <laughs> or an iron golem. That's actually pretty fun. And he can just play it. And he just keeps whacking. 
I'm gonna take Iron Golem. I guess. Tee it, man. I just played him. Uh. <laughs> A bullet. Another giant. I'm gonna take dagger because if I get a death touch thing, it could synchronize with it. Uh, yeah, they're adding fishing and then like little boats you get, which are called skiffs. And your personal skiffs, your home away from home on the waves, explore, relax, and ferry your whole party. Drop anchor to fish, walk around, and more. Sign me up, dude. Another giant. <laughs> but if I take this, I can return. I gotta take the giant. I don't even give a shit. Spoils. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Oh, there we go. I got that anyway. Okay, what do we got here? Loathsome Troll, Ranger. I like the Ranger. I think that. It's just a good card. Four Giants. Look at this guy. This rhino beanie baby, he just wants to be thrown in the air. Look at him. Look at him in the eyes. All right? Look at him in his cold, dark, beanie baby eyes. He yearns to fly. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Green dragon... It's got to be shitting me. Pegasus! Give me the Pegasus. Flying Giant, sign me up. Um, Basilis, sign me up. Kyoya with the Twitch Prime. I think I said it right. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Swipe. Thank you for your contributions towards Flying Rhino. Uh, ooh. Uh, uh, I guess I could... Well, Evolving Wild's probably good here. Skeletal Swarm worth it? Each skeleton you control is trampled, attacks in combat, and it gets like so over the beginning of your end step, create a tap one with black scroll. What the shit? You know what? I'll just take it. I don't give a shit. Uh, Chain gun. I guess I could take Prowler. The creatures still got 20. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take the Evolving Wilds here. I like the Evolving Wilds. Uh, another giant? I got to take the Green Dragon. Grendor, let me hold you. I don't let anybody touch me, except my wife. Uh, Arborea Pegasus. I'm going to take another Pegasus. Uh, we got, you got something to watch. Oh, that's straight up removal, or I can get plus one one. Or Rally Maneuver. Target creature gets 2-0 and gains first strike to line of turn. Up to one other target creature gets 0-2 and gains lifelink. I mean, that shit's pretty strong. This shit's pretty strong, too. That's just removal. I don't know which is better. I think this might be better. I mean... I'll take it. Alright, screw it. Loathsome Troll. Basilisk. I'd rather have a Basilisk, I think, than another green dragon. I already have one green dragon. I don't have a Basilisk. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. How am I gonna play Skeletal Swarming? I need a. I guess I could put a Black Land in and then have Evolving Wilds. I guess. Uh. <laughs> I don't really need bootlets. I think they're okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I only need one of those. Choose your weapon. I'm probably not going to choose my weapon. I like Pegasus. Containment. Basilisk. I don't think I need Keenyard Sentry. I don't need Dagger. Well, Dagger's actually not bad with Basilisks. You can just death touch ping stuff. Now, do I need four giants? 
Maybe we run three giants. Maybe we go three giants. How well? Maybe we drop green dragon and go four giants. I'd honestly rather have another giant than a green dragon, I think. <laughs> Alright, gem reward. Here we go. Uh... Plus the giant gives life, and that synchronizes with other shit I have. And that's the play. 14, 15, 17. Okay. Uh, you know what? This is no bad. Uh, I don't really like Loathsome Troll. I'm going to take him out. Ranger, ally, golem. Bard. Boulette. I'm not a big Boulette fan, honestly. He's okay. Pegasus, good. Spoil's good. Roper, Druid. Mm, I think I drew it out. Containment, Trissar, Basilisk, no longer. Here's something. Spare Dagger, Wild Shape. The Ambush. I don't really need the Ambush. That's 43. I don't, I don't think I need Dagger, actually. I think I'll be fine without Basilisk pings. Uh. Well. Maybe I don't need wild shape. I don't think I need wild shape with this deck. I think I'll be fine. That's 41. I'm gonna run 41. Screw it. Let's go. Okay. Uh, dude, I'm hitting 25 pounds on the bicep curls now. Getting 25s. Okay, we got white green. There's the skeletal swarming great. Uh, it's kind of shitty. It's a lot of higher cost cards. But I can play Basilisk and just chill out. I'm gonna do that. I'll be fine. Straight up boots of speed off the start. Alright, more high cost cards. Just what I need. There we go, thank god. Alright. Dude, if I get one more, uh, one more white land here, we got the icing death. Easy. <laughs> or the bard. Alright, we got the roper, here we go. Here we go, here we go. I'm up to 10, my left elbow's in flame now. Yeehaw. I mean, back when I started working out, I was only at like 5 to 10. Probably more 5s. Still port. <laughs> Shit me? Alright. Uh, that with both. Trap the shepherd. Now we're hitting it, dude. Now we're hitting it. Dude, this dude's manually tapping his land. You know he's serious. Oh my god. I'm not blocking that. <laughs> now he's gonna sacrifice it with the stupid ass pizza shit. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and contain it. Knock, knock. Hello. There we go. <laughs> Give me the life. One life. <laughs> Woo! Don't go too crazy there. 
I got an elliptical this month. Nice to have something just to jump on for exercise. Yeah. I still go to the gym like four or five times a week, typically. Usually I do like upper body, then I do cardio. Little bit of lower body with the cardio. Then the next day I do upper body, but I work a lot of the stuff I didn't do the other time. Then I do another cardio, and then I do upper body, redo the stuff I did the first time. And then, yeah. <laughs> Zarin with the four months. Save the four months. Zarin. Up to four. Good. Save the four months. All right. Ah. Thank Jesus, finally. Okay. Icing death time. Ooh. We swinging. Oh, two life that time. Been able to drink coffee again? I have. My stomach's actually been great. My stomach's been fantastic as of late. Well, I did eat pizza one day, and that was not good. What? Are you shitting me? Alright. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and gain three life here. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. <laughs> I used to strictly run long distance, but after I got my appendix out, I had to take a break to set phone work on my noodle arms. That's what I did after I got my gallbladder out. It was a combination of my get getting my gallbladder out, getting my toenails removed. And then, uh, TB passing away on top of it. Just the, like, the combo of all that. Uh, okay, cool. That's neat. You gotta be shitting me, dude. This guy's just <laughs> getting, like, perfect draws here. Fantastic. Alright. Seven. Yeah. Still alive. God damn it. I was hoping he wouldn't do that. I know it was like obvious he was gonna do that, but... WAIT! I WIN! <laughs> Actually, I could've equipped that too. What the shit was he doing? I mean, I thought he was gonna, like, play another creature to, like, block me. But then... I win! <laughs> Alright. Cool. Dude, back in high school, when I would do bench press, which was never, it was only when we had to go to the gym during gym class, I tried to... I tried to lift the bar, which is, like, I think it's 45 pounds, and I legit couldn't even lift it. Like, I remember they were spotting me, and they were like, lift the bar, and I was like, <laughs> They are like, wow, you're really weak, but now, I'm approaching, uh, I'm approaching 100 pounds on my bench press. So going from, like, not even able to lift the bar to almost 100, I think it's pretty solid. I'm about to, uh, I'd like to be able to lift my own weight, which I weigh, like, one... I pretty much weigh 130. I alternate between 125 and 130. So I'd like to get up to that. I'm also only 5'7", so... <laughs> yeah, let's drop the bezels. Mm -hmm. 
But I'm skinny enough to where my muscles literally just, like, pop out whenever I do anything. Plus, oh my god, my, like... When I'm working out, my vascularity, you can, like, literally see the veins, like, going up my arm and shit. <laughs> some people are like, damn, that's crazy, and some people are like, ugh. <laughs> Attack, bastards. Do you flex every night in front of Toast Roman just to show off? Uh, I mean... Back when we first met, I couldn't even carry her bag from the airport, and now I can literally, like, pick her up. Uh, actually, do I play this? Do I play Pegasus? I think I just play this straight up. Yeah. Alright. <sighs> You and I are the same height, weight 5'7". Yeah, I'm 5'7", 130. Well, there it is. <laughs> Saw that coming. Yo, we can giant up in here! I mean, you know, those are all, it's all great, but the main reason I go to the gym is so I'm healthy and don't die at, like, <laughs> you know. At my rate, I was going to die at, like, 30 of high blood pressure or some shit. But now I'm 32 and in shape. I can beat my old self up. I can beat my 20-year-old self up easy. Oh, shit, he's getting, uh, whenever you gain life, put a woman counter entire creature control. Too bad you won't be gaining any life today. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and drop the ranger. Stack the board, dude. Boy. That's a monk. If that's all they got, I'd pretty much win here. Oh wait, they can heal, I guess. Alright. Entire creature gets 2-2! Two, two. Let's do the 1-1 one, one flying. 2 to tap. She doesn't have 2 right now though, so that's good. Let's swing with these. You want to block that basilisk, dude? <laughs> want to block that basilisk? No? Okay. Alright, that's looking good. <laughs> they literally just don't have any creatures. They just, they just have all enchantments and artifacts. Like, what is this? Before 2020, I curled 55-pound dumbbells, and I can barely pick them up. <laughs> Yeah, I think once you start getting into your late 20s, that's when the computer gaming lifestyle of growing up being on your computer for 10 hours a day starts catching up to you and eating only fast food, and then you're like, shit, dude. I gotta do something. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Hello? We gonna play the game, or, uh... Sorry, maybe they're thinking. Okay. Wait, when it comes to the three turn target creature from the graveyard of the battlefield, you gain life equals toughness. I win! <laughs> Alright. Woo! Two and oh, let's go! Dude, this deck's great! Rolling right along. Sick. 
Some people do like so much cardio. I, you only need to do like 10 to 15 minutes of cardio for your vascular health. I think some people mainly do cardio to lose weight, but honestly, like cardio paired up with weightlifting is the better way to lose weight because then you turn fat into muscle and then you just. I even. Uh, I got a mulligan this to suck. That's better. Um. What was I saying? Play a force. Uh, because if you do too much cardio, I'm pretty sure your body hits a point where it just starts storing fat. I'm pretty sure I read that. Like, if you only do cardio and you don't weightlift, your body thinks you're, like, in survival mode because you're running so much. And so it's like, we gotta store fat. We're probably dying. <laughs> So, like, at first you lose weight, and then you start gaining weight, so they said a lot of runners actually get, like, a, a pouch, like a belly pouch. But if you pair it up with weightlifting, that's, like, the most ideal thing to do. Uh, get rid of this guy. Got my frog heme. Plus, lifting weights is great. Oh my god. I was dropping shit all day. Alright, there we go. Let's drop this. A friend I have in the military told me about a great warm up four minutes of three four sprint running, one minute rest this four times in a row, total 120 minutes, and right after start lifting with max 30 seconds between sets. Damn. That does sound crazy. Uh oh! Pew! That's dead. Sad. Uh, could also cut out fats. You don't want to cut out fats. Your body needs fats. Uh, three, four, five. Wait. Three, four, five. Why can't I play the frog heman? Am I dumb? Oh, that's not a land. I don't know what the shit I'm even... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why can't I play card? Okay. Yeah, sugars and carbs are what you want to cut out, not fat. Your body needs fats. There's like trans fats, which are bad, but like your body needs... ...fats and stuff. <laughs> Especially, like, healthy fats. Oh my god, now they're just dropping the whole bank. Alright, uh, Froggyma time. Boop, boop, boop. Oh wait, he's got Trample Haste, I forgot. Too bad I can't actually... <laughs> ...do anything with that. Because if I attack, I'm dead. Uh... Now, you shouldn't, like, you know, it's everything in moderation, right? You shouldn't eat no fats, you shouldn't just only eat fats. I know, like, uh, keto is pretty much only eating fats. Oh, I lose. All right. Um. <laughs> but I kind of like more of the, uh, the paleo. Not even be like, go on the paleo diet or whatever. I like just eating more like a paleo diet. Like, it doesn't have to be 100% that, but, you know. Where it's just like, don't eat refined sugars and shit like that. Processed foods. Now, do I still do that? <laughs> yes, but, you know. I think doing a thing 100% is extremely difficult. I think it's good to just follow something to a degree, you know, like do it 80%, or even start out being like 50%, then 80%, and then, you know, just kind of do whatever. Yeah, like sometimes I don't want to eat that much meat, you know? <laughs> sometimes I want some bread, but I don't want to eat like a shit ton of bread or like pasta or whatever, but like, you know, just having a little bit of bread, I'm like, all right, I'm good. But, 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 uh, no, paleo's a lot of meat. But, but, but. 
And a lot of it, here's the thing, is like, I've been to the gastroenterologist so many times. I've had two endoscopies. <laughs> All right. I know about my digestive system. Uh, a lot of it is just like, literally write it down. Like, keep a food diary and be like, I ate this today and it made me feel bad. And be like, okay, don't eat that. Like, whenever I eat pizza, it makes me feel bad. Maybe I shouldn't eat pizza. Boom. There you go. Uh... Actually, I don't want a player yet. Play badly. I ate strawberries today. I felt bad. Whenever I eat strawberries, it's no good. Like, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's the, the thing. So bad. Oh, uh... Drop that. Drop her now. Ba -da -da -da. Four, five. Ooh, I'm one land away from uh, playing my skeletal swarming. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's drop this basilisk. Dragon's fire, and here they are gonna attack with their skeleton, and then uh oh, spaghettios, you get skeeted on. Boom, bam, bam, there you go. Spaghetti. Bam. Got a containment. I just need that one more land for the skeletal swarming. Let's drop the Pegasus. Just need that lane. <laughs> Just need that lane. <laughs> like, obviously, this is a combat trick. I don't give a shit. Valor Singer, right? There it is! Let's go! Of the Valor Singer. All right. I mean, we still got one here. <laughs> well, we get two. Never mind. <laughs> right. So you just keep getting two skeletons over and over. And then they have two. <laughs> and then if I get up. Oh. oh, that's a red dragon. Alright. I'll attack with everything. Or wait, no, these. <laughs> yeah. I get three. Yeah, now I can double block dragon. Oh, 
got you. Let's go. Dude, that card's great. I love that card. Pew, 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 pew. Three and one. Thanks. Oh, that's a good start. White, white, green. And two spoils of the hunt on top of it. And a shepherd. All right. Greater age 29 months. Friendor, you gotta add Trophy Bass Fishing 4 on your on PC to your fishing game list. I've had some good childhood memories there. Alright. Sounds good. <laughs> uh kill that. Shepherd. Yeah, that's a vampire spawn. Oh, he blocked it. Nice. <laughs> Worked out. Dude, I got my three giants. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? I just need two lane, then we can go to Giant Town. Oh, never mind, we got this. Any day now, I'll get my land. Thank you. Let's go ahead and do that. Land or ally. Celestial Unicorn? Alright. Guess I'll drop Frog Hemoth. Alright. Uh, I'd rather kill the Unicorn, I think. Yeah. I see one land. Go to Giant Town.
finally thought. Block that. Nah. Oh, he goes into the dungeon. I don't give a shit. If I could just drop another giant. for days. Another planner ally? Alright, well, another giant. The giants are coming in doing work. Yeah, we just do sword pegasus to win. Nah, I still win. What? Oh my god. You gotta be shitting me. This is like the dumbest shit that's ever happened. <laughs> Alright, well. worth attacking at this point. Well, actually, do I attack here? Dude, I can't believe this person just played like 15 cards and they're all like perfect cards for countering my one play that wins the game. Like, you gotta be shitting me. Uh... Yeah, I'm not even gonna attack.
just gonna let it happen. All right, that was like <laughs> that person straight up just injected Mountain Dew Code Red. That was like it was getting to the point where they were about to lose the game, and they were like, "Hold on," and then the Code Red just started flowing through their veins, and they were like, and it started like flowing out of their ears and out of their nose, and they're just like, and then they hit a diabetic coma and just went like, bam, and then all the cards just played like that. I've seen it before in League of Legends. It's a it's a classic uh, Mountain Dew Code Red injection. <laughs> Happens all the time. Yeah, I should have killed the flyer. Honestly, it kept letting him go to the dungeon, and then you know. That's what allowed all that to happen. It's just like one more turn, dude. That's all I needed. Just one more turn. Sometimes. Straight while it lasted. It's not like I didn't even have land either. I legit had like 17 lands in my deck. What did I have? I had 17 if you include the involving wilds. Whatever, I got three wins. I'll take it. Oh boy. What do we got here? things <laughs> I literally have all these cards to claim because I never play anything but drafts <laughs> one day uh all right well you know what honestly pretty solid I got a uh, I got a Tiamat draft that's practically seven wins winning a game with Tiamat and then I got three wins there so you know what I'll take what I can get um that's gonna do it for me so thanks for watching everybody Thank you again to Guild Wars 2 for sponsoring the stream. If you want to check it out, Guild Wars 2, exclamation point Guild Wars 2 in the chat, or click the link below the stream. They're adding fishing this February in the new expansion. That's really all you have to know. Uh, can't wait to go fishing and sail around in my boat. It's going to be great. Um, also, thanks to everybody who subscribed, resubscribed, drop bits, drop tips, gifted subs. If you're new here, click the follow button, follow along. 
Uh, click the bell and be super notified when I go live, unless Twitch is broken. Might be, it usually is. And, uh, yeah. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. See ya. Bye. Do 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 do